Hello and welcome to The Watches TV. Today we focus on a special watch from MBNF, which is the LM1 Alain Silberstein. The first time a legacy machine is so deeply customized. Let's put it that way. It is not the first time that MBNF and uh, Alain Silberstein work together. They already uh, collaborated on the HM2.2 black box because Max Busser is a real fan of Alain Silberstein. So why Alain Silberstein is so special and it is not only because of his large moustache that everyone knows in watchmaking. He he actually brought a new style in watchmaking when he started his own brand in 1990. He is first an interior designer that fell in love with watches, as Max Busser did, and his goal was to play with shapes and colors in order to reveal time differently. That's why Alain Silberstein works mainly with three basic colors, which are the blue, the yellow and the red, and also with the three elementary shapes that are the triangle, pyramid, the round sphere, and the square or cube and that's what you can see on this new LM1 Alan Stelberstein. It is really a surprise as the Legacy Machine Collection is a tribute to fine classical watchmaking with a little modern trick which is in particular that the balance width is above the movement and that way you can see the beats of the movement. But here the goal was like to take the best of each world. Max Busser world, the classical watchmaking one and Alan Stelberstein. And the result is quite breathtaking because we didn't expect to see such a uh, extravagant and playful and also colorful watch in the LM collection. With his brand that ended up in 2012, Alan Silberstein um, somehow broke the rules in watchmaking design because he had a very radical approach and this is also something that gathers Max Busser and Alan Silberstein, meaning that both want to bring the best of the creativity into watchmaking and don't care about the rules. And the thing is that both are very talented, so when they decide to work together, the result is always very strong and solid and that's why for instance on this LM1 Alain Silberstein the balance wheel bridge is made out of sapphire which has two years of uh, work because of uh, the precision that was needed. This is a tribute to the first watch with a sapphire crystal glass that Alain Silberstein made and it has another signification here. Indeed Alain Silberstein didn't want any element between the balance wheel that really cuts the time and uh, the wearer so that that's why the transparency of uh, sapphire crystal was needed. Another important feature is uh, for the subdials so that are concaves. They reflect the light, they catch the time also. And uh, Alain Silberstein is all about the metaphysic of time and to play with symbols. And this is very visible into this watch. So to conclude, let's say that we can't put this watch in any category. It is unexpected. It is perfectly done. It is uh, futuristic somehow and also very wearable. I have it on my wrist. It's hard, but I will have to give it back but it will be hard thank you goodbye